this is what won the community tab and here I am making a video about it. <laughs> For this tutorial, I'll be taking VTube Studio and Pierre Pierre Live into account. Let's get started after this short intro. about me if you're new to the channel hi my name is kira mori and what do i do <laughs> i do live tv tutorial videos and my most popular ones are these and i also just made a new physics tutorial video please check that out if you want some nice boing boings here's also the outline of the video so you could get a good overview of what we are going to talk about today okay first i want to know if you've done your homework you should know already how deformers and parameters work if not i'll be leaving some links in the description so you could study them i'd also like to note that there are some features that are not available in the free version that are kind of you know important for efficiency in making expressions these are ability to assign things to more than three parameters and copy and pasting shape this is the Control shift c and Control shift v shortcut the first limitation would just require you to be very careful with the parameters that you assign to art meshes and deformers. This would also mean that you're gonna have to make more expressions that are stickers, which I'll be talking more about later. But if you'd like to have more toggle parameters where you change a facial feature, there is a workaround for the free version, but there will be a compromise. You can skip to this timestamp if you want to know more about it. Okay, let's go over to the general concepts first. I'm gonna just tell you about the general workflow. I highly recommend doing expressions last. This just saves time when it comes to rigging toggles. We'll talk more about toggles in a bit. The general workflow for creating expressions is to create the parameters or the toggles and then rig them according to the appropriate process, export the model, and then make the .exp3 files in the live 2 viewer and then set them up in the tracking program of your choice I won't be discussing how to set them up in Pierre Pierre Live Pierre pr 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 Live <laughs> and VTube Studio since there are documentations out there I'll leave them in the description When you are creating a parameter, be very very careful <laughs> You'd want a parameter that has a minimum value of 0 and the default value at 0 too. This just means that by default the toggle is turned off. And then the maximum value can just be 1. And alright, before we talk about toggles, I'd like you to meet my child who has agreed to be one of my test subjects for this video. <laughs> now we've got that out of the way, you've probably seen this warning. <laughs> And you shouldn't worry about it too much if you have a pro license and if you're very careful. Basically, when you're making toggle parameters, you need to remember, and I mean, really remember, drill it into your brain, man, like, like this, like this, <laughs> that the combination of your parameter values matter. To demonstrate, I have an object that is assigned to the mouth form, mouth open, and this test parameter. The test parameter's value is set at 0, this is just the default stuff. And when I move the value of the test parameter to 1, you can rig a whole new set of mouth form and mouth open combinations. Basically, when you have a toggle and there are other parameters keyed with it, so there are other parameters which have green dots besides that toggle, those parameters will be a different set depending on what value you are at at the toggle i've made a graphic that summarizes everything here's a little preview and as always the download link for the image is in the description all right i hope that you kind of get how toggles work now so take some time absorb it you know process your learnings <laughs> and just remember that only one toggle is turned on when working on a specific expression so things won't get messed up now i'm gonna talk about the different types of expressions first one is stickers these are the easiest ones to make stickers is for expressions that only require something to appear you basically just key in the opacity change and if the sticker texture like this eye sparkles one on my model 
is under a certain deformer. You might not need to make another deformer for adjustments. Well, unless if you really want to. If you have more than one texture that you want to show in the expression and you could afford to create another deformer, I highly recommend making a big jungus hair deformer for it. And then just use that for the sticker toggle. So you won't need to click every single object and change the opacity. Again, doing this might not be advisable for those who are using the free version because of the deformer number limitation. Now, switching textures. I'd like all of you to welcome back Bolchan! She is back with better eyes, so go say hi. <laughs> Alright, when your model requires you to switch textures, you need the right timing for when things will lose their opacity as well as deform the textures to make some movement for the transition. Here's a short clip of what I mean. I try to plan out the timing first before rigging so I have a good overview of what's gonna happen and not make unnecessary mistakes. I have some materials in the description that will show you my timings for opacity and the movement for the pouting rig that Bolchan has here. If you want the PSD and the live 2D file for Bolchan to study expressions and stuff, let me know in the comments. I plan on putting it on Gumroad with a pay what you want option or maybe sell it for like, I don't know, a dollar. <laughs> Bolchan, that's what you're worth. A dollar. <laughs> The only thing that you need to remember is to make sure that the transition looks nice. Like, slide the parameter, look at it again and again. <laughs> Think about how you will avoid showing some textures like this. You know, the inside of the note is just peeking through. And also avoid making things disappear just like this. And you could, you know, remedy these by properly timing and having enough keyforms. The method that I am going to discuss is required for models that are going to be used in Pure Pure Live. You should also use this method if you want to, let's say, make the eye half open and still make it blink in VTube Studio. This method is not recommended for users who have the free version because of parameter assignment limits. I'm going to be using my model as an example. The first thing that I'm going to do is to go to the facial feature that I want to change. Let's say I are open. Then I'll be making a toggle that kind of like, you know, makes the eye less open. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the part where, you know, I find it okay. Which is 0 0.8 on this parameter. And then I'm going to click select to make sure that all involved objects will be keyed properly. So go do that. I'm going to press Control shift c Okay, I've done that. <laughs> and I'm going to go to my half open toggle assign two keyforms to it press ok and then go to this keyform where the half open toggle is activated and then after that i'm going to replace all of the bigger keyforms with the shape that i copied earlier i'm going to press ctrl shift and v to paste it and there we go and i'm going to do the same thing with the il open i'm going to select go to 0 0.8 Press Ctrl Shift C and then key it to half open. Press OK. Go to the keyform where the toggle is activated and then go back to this IL open parameter and replace the bigger keyform with the shape that I copied earlier. And as you can see, the toggle works perfectly. If you don't really need a parameter to be tracked, for example, just keep the brows in their angry form, just paste the copied keyform to all keyforms. And when you're done rigging your model and everything is nice and finished, give yourself a pat on the back because you've done a good job. <laughs> so the next thing that you want to do is to export the model for runtime. Export as Mach 3 file. Okay, there. Oh my god. I'm just going to export it like somewhere. 
And when you're done exporting, open this file. Open in a real good. <laughs> Expression files or .exp3 files can hold information about multiple parameters. So you could have combinations of expressions. Let me create one first. Add expression. Then I'm going to name it half open. Half open. Okay. And then you can just open this folder to access the expression. So here... You can select multiple parameters and make different combinations of expression. But the catch is for VTube Studio and for those who are using the free version who wants to change their facial expressions on the model, it won't be tracked anymore. The parameter will be stuck at that value. Expression files for Pure Pure Life have no effect on tracked parameters. Even if you change I open like this. If you make eye open like that, it won't, nothing will happen in Care Pure Live. It has no power there. And now, when you have multiple toggles, which are these, make sure that you want to set the toggles you want in active to zero. So I just want the half open to be active, and all the others here is inactive. Okay? This just makes sure that the model doesn't get messed up when the expressions are accidentally activated at the same time. When you are done, just export all of the expression files and then i'll also save the model dot model 3 dot json file thing just to be safe i've left links in the description for the things that you need to set up the expression files in the programs that you're going to use all right we're done <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that you learned something I'd also like to give a big shout out to these wonderful people right here. Thank you very much for becoming a member of my channel. Channel? <laughs> what kind of accent is that? Please do look forward to the special Q&A stream for channel members so they can ask, I don't know, whatever they want that's about this video. And please also check the community tab so you can vote on what next video I should release. I hope that you're gonna be there for the next one. See ya, Kira.